Johanna. Johanna. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another DIY gift idea. Today's gift idea is of course a journal and this is going to be a little DIY journal made out of a cardboard box. So you can use a cereal box or any kind of cardboard box that you have on hand. And this is very similar to, to another tutorial I've shared on my channel, but I wanted to show you how quick and easy this book is with a no sew binding so if you don't feel comfortable stitching your pages in this method doesn't involve any sewing so the first thing you're going to do is cut down your box and then you want to take some fabric or some paper and glue it over the box to cover it so using a box is such an easy way to make a cover because it's already in the right shape you've already got a spine measured out for you from the side of the box and it's just super fast you don't really have to do any kind of prep or any kind of building so you can see here how i'm covering the book i'm just cutting down the fabric that i chose and then i'm going to cut off the corners and i'm going to glue those down over the edges of the cover So once I've covered the outside of the journal, I'm going to cover the inside just with some patterned scrapbook paper. You can use any type of paper that you have at home. I'm just using a pencil to mark where I need to cut this down so that it's going to fit on the inside. So you can cut that down and then just glue it on the entire inside. And then once you've pressed that down, make sure it's glued down thoroughly. You can refold where the spine is. And there is your basic cover, which you can go ahead and decorate if you want to. Now to make the inside, I'm just using a very basic rule of thumb to take five sheets of different types of paper. So five scrapbook papers, five line sheets, five paper bags, and five copy paper sheets. And all you want to do is just fold every sheet in half. And then once you've folded the papers in half, we need to just cut them down to size. So you can use a paper trimmer or a ruler to tear the sheets, or you could just cut them out with scissors. I'm just going to show you here how to use a ruler. So you just mark off how big you need your pages to be with a pencil and then you can just hold the ruler firmly on the paper and tear it. And this will give the papers a soft torn edge look. So if you like that look, this is perfect. If you don't, you can do it once and then you can use the page as like a template to cut out the rest of the pages if you want to and just cut them out with scissors. And then once you've cut out all your pages, we're going to assemble them into groups. So I'm assembling mine into groups of five, as you can see. So to do that, all you have to do is just put the sheets on top of each other with the folds all together, like I'm showing you here. So I had five groups of five. Now we're going to put them into the book and like I said, this isn't going to be anything difficult at all. This is just my little version of an easy twine binding, which you can find other tutorials on YouTube for. I'm going to use a little button that has two holes and I'm going to thread the twine through to tie the pages in, which I'll show you in a moment. Before I do that, I just want to keep my pages all together just by using some paper clips. And then I'm just going to take five strands or however many groups of pages you have of twine and cut them down to roughly the same length. And then I'm going to thread them through the button. So just by putting all the ends of the threads together, I'm going to thread them through both holes of the button. And so once you are at this step, you're just going to have this sort of draped over the outside of the book. So it looks really decorative and pretty as well, but it's also very functional and easy. So all you're going to do from here is take the strands and you're going to tie them around each group of pages or signatures. And so I'm just going to double knot mine. It can be a little bit fiddly this part, but you do want to try and tie it as tightly as you can.
and that's going to hold all of your pages in and they're going to sit really nicely as if they're sewn in but obviously it's a very very easy way to bind your book. So you just want to repeat that until you have all of your groups of pages in the book. And then I just trimmed off the excess threads. And then I just sort of evenly spaced the threads on the outside of the book just to make it look a bit more neat. And you can see here, once I've removed the paper clips, I have a nice little thick book that was very quick and easy to make with absolutely no sewing or anything difficult at all. And it looks really pretty and is ready to be filled up with lots of bits and pieces or photos or journaling or whatever else you want to put inside. These make really good little gifts and you can put it together pretty quickly. You can customize them as much as you like so that they make a really nice special little gift for your loved one. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.